Henri Matisse, the iconic French artist, criticized for his depiction of a naked woman in his legendary piece, Blue Nude, once said, creativity takes courage. The artists presenting their work at the opening of the Leslie Lohman Museum's exhibit, Proud Packages, are definitely showing courage by putting the male physique and love between men on display. Warren Bradley loves going against the norm with his art. His work shows great technique with the use of vibrant watercolors. Bradley even made his own paper to paint a piece for tonight's exhibit. Nudes and erotica um, provides a different element, different from fashion, different from fine art. I don't remember exactly how it came about, uh, probably from a love of human pe beings and drawing men. And um, a little bit of the taboo that comes with that made it exciting and titillating. This is the seventh year of the Gay Erotica Art Fair. The fair features 11 artists exhibiting their work of men in all aspects of their erotic selves, showcasing love and sex between men, something oftentimes still neglected as a depiction in Hollywood. Uh, we're very happy uh, to be part of it and to come and see it every year. And actually, I have a lot of these artists on my own wall. I love uh, art. I love uh, naked men. So. What could be better than this show at Leslie Lohman? Another artist with their work on display tonight is Shunga Boy. He loves the safe space painting puts him in. In addition to doing his own art, he hosts his own live naked men's drawing class. I use bright colors to, to show the world the way I want to see the world. It's a very bright, optimistic, cheerful, fun world, more than the uh, the world that we actually live in. So I like the uh, fantasy of the color over the reality that we live in today. Jungle Boy has captured movement that jumps out at the canvas right into you. You can't help but see all that. It is absolutely beautiful. Chuck Huttinger's artwork definitely commands the space. From his provocative interpretations of the male physique to the eye-popping tree ornaments he made, his work was admired by all. It's something I love to do. I always draw from life. I never draw from photographs, although it's not a steadfast rule. <laughs> uh, so I get to meet like lots of really interesting models and uh, and celebrate Christmas in an amusing way. <laughs> so as you can see, Gay Erotica is a main attraction here in New York City on a Friday night, making a bold statement in the art scene. I'm Marvin Richards Jr. reporting Columbia Television News.